In December, 2022, we had the pleasure of embarking on an eight-night cruise trip to the ABC Islands, starting with a visit to Bonaire on December 13. The adventure was a dream come true, offering breathtaking views of the azure waters, tropical landscapes, and the vibrant culture of the Dutch Caribbean. Bonaire is an island located in the Southern Caribbean and is part of the Netherlands Antilles. It is a popular destination for tourists, known for its stunning natural beauty, vibrant coral reefs, and clear turquoise waters. Bonaire has a tropical climate, characterized by warm temperatures and high humidity throughout the year. The island is located outside the hurricane belt, so it experiences relatively mild weather patterns with few extreme weather events. The average temperature in Bonaire is around 82 degrees Fahrenheit, with temperatures ranging from a low of about 75 degrees Fahrenheit at night to a high of around 90 degrees Fahrenheit during the day. The island's high humidity levels can make the air feel even warmer. Rain is relatively rare in Bonaire with most of the island's rainfall occurring from October to January. The rest of the year is dry, with sunny skies and low humidity levels. Bonaire is renowned for its excellent snorkeling and diving, with over 80 dive sites that offer a unique underwater experience. In addition to its natural attractions, Bonaire has a rich cultural heritage, with a mix of African, Dutch, Spanish, and indigenous cultures. The island has a number of historical sites, such as Fort Orange and the Mikv Israel Emanuel Synagogue, that offer a glimpse into its past. Visitors to Bonaire can enjoy a range of activities, from exploring the island's wilderness to indulging in its culinary delights. Whether you're a nature lover, an adventure seeker, or just looking for some relaxation, Bonaire has something for everyone. The cruise terminal in Bonaire is located in the capital city of Kralendijk and is one of the main entry points for visitors arriving on the island by cruise ship. The Bonaire terminal is a modern facility, offering a range of amenities for passengers. The terminal has a spacious arrival and departure hall, with customs and immigration facilities, as well as a tourist information desk. The local vendors are offering variety choices of local tours and can be customized according to the visitor's expectations. The Arts and Crafts Cruise Market in Bonaire is a popular destination for visitors to the island, offering a unique shopping experience and showcasing the island's rich cultural heritage. The market is held in the capital city of Kralendijk and is held regularly, providing visitors with the opportunity to purchase a wide range of locally made arts and crafts, including jewelry, textiles, wood carvings, ceramics, and more. The Arts and Crafts Cruise Market provides a platform for local artists and craftspeople to showcase their work and sell their wares to visitors. Many of the items for sale are handcrafted using traditional techniques passed down from generation to generation, and are a testament to the island's rich cultural heritage. Are you originally from this area or are you? No, 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 from the Netherlands. Oh, you, really? Yeah. Seriously? But I lived here for almost 26 years. Oh, okay. So I'm a local. <laughs> right. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Would uh, people speak, what language the local they speak? Uh, Dutch or anything? Dutch, Papiamento, it's the native language. Okay. Spanish, English. Most of the children, most of the people are speaking four languages. Oh, wow. Yeah. 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 Wow. Okay. So that's interesting. That's, yeah. yeah, that's very interesting. <laughs> yeah. Do you feel the 
like a cost of living here is um, is that uh, expensive or it's okay? Yeah. It's no, quite it's expensive. Yeah, oh. it's an yeah. island. You don't it's produce an, anything besides the south, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, and and there are uh, more here on the island, but a lot, most of the things must come from outside. Oh, yeah. okay. It's I see. by yeah. boat, by plane, mm -hmm. I see. and that makes it expensive. Mm. In the supermarket, is uh, yeah. When you see in the uh, we have here a supermarket. They have it in Holland also, in mm -hmm. the Netherlands, and you see the price here is three times more oh my than the same <laughs> product in Holland. Yeah. Wow. So you have to look. You see the people who we to uh, going for this, for that supermarket, for that, and that supermarket. You are choosing not only one supermarket. No. You have to choose where you I should see. buy your Just things. Different shop items. around. Yeah. yeah. I see. Yeah. Yeah. Right. But we are used to it, so. Okay. But, okay. Wow. In other countries, other things are more expensive. In other right. things, energy and electricity mm -hmm. and the gas, etc., yeah, etc. Yeah. I hear it for my family, the room, and now it's winter, so. Right. Yeah. At <laughs> yeah, least here is warm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Here is always warm, but okay. Then you use an aircon. Aircon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Aircon. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not not a lot. Not a lot. No. Yeah. When you have a van, it's very okay. But we have also aircoats to mm -hmm. when you're going to sleep, mm -hmm. you put the aircoat on 15 minutes before you are going to bed, and it's nice and cool. And then you have a van that's perfect. Oh, okay, yeah. got it. Otherwise, it's too cold. Right. Yeah. Oh yeah. Or you have your I... aircoat on 26 degrees. Right. Mm -hmm. No, not me. No. <laughs> Out and the van. <laughs> right. Yeah. So you you learn to go, yeah, with everything. You you have to learn, but. We are coming from the Netherlands, where you are used to winter and uh, autumn. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. The downtown area of Bonaire is home to a variety of shops, restaurants, cafes, and bars, as well as cultural institutions such as museums, art galleries, and theaters. Visitors can explore the city's bustling streets, visit its many historical buildings, and enjoy its vibrant cultural scene. We chose a guided tour for south part of the island including salt pans, slave huts, lighthouse, Sorabon Beach Resort and popular snorkeling destination, Coco Beach, now called Eden Beach. Salt pans and slave huts are both important parts of Bonaire's history and cultural heritage. Salt pans are shallow ponds used for the evaporation of seawater to produce salt. Salt has been produced on Bonaire for centuries, and the island's salt pans are some of the largest in the Caribbean. They are also a protected nature reserve, and visitors can observe the production process and learn about its history. The sea salts can be taken home as a souvenir. Slave huts, on the other hand, are small structures that were once used to house enslaved Africans who worked on the island's salt pans. These huts serve as a reminder of the island's difficult past, and many have been preserved as historical landmarks. 
Visitors can tour the slave huts and learn about the history of slavery in Bonaire and the Caribbean. Both salt pans and slave huts are important parts of Bonaire's heritage, and they offer a unique glimpse into the island's past and cultural heritage. By visiting these sites, visitors can gain a deeper appreciation for Bonaire's history and its place in the world. Bonaire's beaches are known for their unique and picturesque coral stones, which can be found along the shoreline and in the shallow waters. These coral stones are the result of the island's geological history and its unique coral reefs. Bonaire is also home to some of the healthiest coral reefs in the Caribbean, which play a key role in the formation of the coral stones. The island's coral reefs are a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and are protected by the Bonaire National Marine Park. The coral reefs are home to a vast array of marine life, including colorful fish, sea turtles, and other creatures. As the coral reefs grow, they produce large amounts of calcium carbonate, which over time, is deposited on the shores of the island, forming the coral stones. The stones come in various shapes and sizes, ranging from small pebbles to large boulders, and can be found on almost all of Bonaire's beaches. The coral stones are not only a unique feature of Bonaire's beaches, but they also play an important ecological role. The stones provide a habitat for small marine creatures, such as crabs and snails, and help to prevent erosion along the shoreline. Overall, the coral stones on Bonaire's beaches are a fascinating geological and ecological feature, and add to the island's natural beauty and charm. Bonaire's first lighthouse, known as the Lighthouse at Playa, is a historic landmark located on the island's eastern coast. It was built in 1837 and is one of the oldest structures on the island. The lighthouse was built by the Dutch colonial government to guide ships and boats safely through the water surrounding Bonaire. The lighthouse is made of stone and is a cylindrical structure that stands on a small hill overlooking the sea. It is painted white with a red roof and has a lantern room at the top. Flamingos can be found in and around the island's salt pans and brackish lagoons, where they feed on the small crustaceans and algae that are abundant in these environments. The pink coloration of the flamingos comes from the carotenoids in their diet, and the brightness of their plumage can vary depending on the availability of these pigments. Sorabon Beach, also known as Sorabon Beach Resort, is a popular beach and resort located on the island of Bonaire in the southern Caribbean. The beach is situated on the western side of the island and is known for its clear turquoise waters, pristine white sand, and excellent windsurfing conditions. Sorabon Beach is a protected area and is considered to be one of the best spots for windsurfing in the Caribbean. The beach is popular among windsurfers and kitesurfers from all over the world who come to take advantage of the consistent trade winds and ideal conditions for their sport. In addition to its excellent windsurfing conditions, Sorabon Beach is also surrounded by beautiful natural scenery, including lush vegetation and mangrove forests visitors can take nature walks, birdwatch, or simply relax on the beach and soak up the sun. Overall, Sorabon Beach is a must-visit destination for anyone visiting Bonaire, offering a range of activities and a beautiful setting for a beach holiday. 
Coco Beach, now Eden Beach, is a popular beach located on the island of Bonaire in the Southern Caribbean. It is situated on the eastern side of the island and is known for its stunning beauty, clear turquoise waters, and excellent snorkeling opportunities. Coco Beach is a protected area and is a popular destination for snorkelers and divers who come to explore the island's vibrant coral reefs and diverse marine life. The beach is surrounded by beautiful coral formations and is home to a variety of tropical fish, making it a great place to swim, snorkel, and dive. In addition to its excellent snorkeling and diving opportunities, Coco Beach is also a popular spot for sunbathing and relaxing. The beach has plenty of space for visitors to stretch out and enjoy the sun, and there are plenty of shade trees and hammocks for those who prefer to stay out of the sun. Coco Beach is a popular place for families, with a calm and shallow shoreline that is ideal for children to swim and play in. The beach is also a popular place for picnics, with plenty of shady spots and picnic tables available. Bonaire is known for its diverse and colorful marine life, making it a popular destination for snorkeling and diving enthusiasts. The waters around the island are home to over 470 species of fish, including more than 100 species of reef fish. Some of the most common colorful reef fish you might see while snorkeling in Bonaire include Parrotfish These brightly colored fish have a parrot-like beak and are known for their ability to change color as they mature. Angelfish, with their strikingly bold colors and distinctive shapes, angelfish are a common sight around Bonaire's reefs. Butterflyfish, these small, delicate fish come in a wide range of colors and patterns, making them a popular subject for underwater photographers. Damselfish, known for their vibrant blues and purples, damselfish are a common sight in the shallow waters around Bonaire. Surgeonfish, these fish are characterized by their sharp spines and vivid coloration, which can range from bright blues and yellows to more muted greens and browns. In addition to these colorful reef fish, Bonaire is also home to a variety of larger species, including barracudas, groupers, and moray eels. You might also see sea turtles, rays, and even the occasional shark while snorkeling around the island. It's worth noting that while Bonaire's waters are home to a diverse array of marine life, it's important to be respectful of the fragile reef ecosystem and avoid touching or disturbing any of the creatures you encounter. Additionally, some species may be venomous or otherwise dangerous, so it's best to keep a safe distance and avoid disturbing them. Bonaire is known as a premier snorkeling destination, with crystal clear waters and a vast array of marine life to discover. Here are some of the highlights of snorkeling in Bonaire. 1. Accessible shore snorkeling. One of the unique aspects of Bonaire is the easy access to snorkeling from the shore. There are numerous designated snorkeling sites around the island, marked with yellow stones, where you can simply park your car, gear up, and walk into the water to start exploring the reef. 2. Vibrant Coral Reefs Bonaire's coral reefs are teeming with life, with a wide variety of hard and soft corals creating a kaleidoscope of colors and shapes. Snorkelers can swim among schools of tropical fish, watch sea turtles grazing on seagrass, and look out for the occasional octopus or moray eel hiding in the coral crevices. 3. Unspoiled Marine Environment Bonaire has a long-standing commitment to sustainable tourism and marine conservation, which has helped to preserve the island's natural beauty and protect its marine life. 
This means that snorkelers can enjoy unspoiled, pristine environments and encounter a wide variety of species that might not be found in more heavily trafficked areas. 4. Night Snorkeling For a truly unique experience, some tour operators offer guided night snorkeling trips, where you can witness the reef come to life under the cover of darkness. Many species of marine life are more active at night, and you may encounter creatures like bioluminescent plankton or hunting barracudas. I encountered two baby sharks which was amazing.